Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a couple of Pinot Noirs here, uh, both Southern Hemisphere, uh, one from Australia, one from Chile. Um, I'm doing them in, are they both 2016 vintage? Yes, they are both 2016. Uh, so the first one is Blind Spot, the, Austra the Australian owned label that's done by the Wine Society. Um, their Yarra Valley 2016 Pinot Noir, weighing in at 12.5%. Uh, Let's give it a whirl. Well, one of the first things I notice is the colour. Uh, it's on that pale and hopefully interesting side. They've not mashed the grapes in order to get uh, as much um, flavour and colour out of it. And uh, when I come to smell it, there's this gentle, slightly herbal scented um, strawberry, fresh strawberry, but also if you, if you cook strawberries, you chop them up, put them in a pan, just have a little bit of sugar and after about a minute you start getting this strawberry ooze. So it's not exactly cooked fruit, it's not jam by any means, but um, slightly cooked. So, it, uh, and I've got a feeling that doing it this colour, rather than doing it and pressing a bit more, uh, they've that herbal thing that is just there as a nuance, uh, they've kept that in, 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 in the right proportions. Any more and it would have started to get a little bit too aggressive and green. Really nice, gentle, slightly savoury, what I call a tender wine. And almost chillable. But then it seems to, it, it, it feels light to start with. And then the flavour seems to grow in your mouth. So that strawberry ooze seems to magnify itself. Almost a little bit of rosehip syrup in there. Uh, gentle, fragrant. It's really tasty. And um, it's a, uh, some people want their Pinot Noir with heaps and heaps of colour and heaps and heaps of extract. This isn't the wine for you, but if you just want something that is uh, uh, a really good summer red, this is perfect. Really tasty. Mm. I like that. Next one. Uh, so we're in Chile for this one. Um, and it's Santa Rita Pinot Noir from the uh, Aconcagua Valley. Now the Aconcagua Valley... Uh, there's some really hot bits. The further you go away from the Pacific, the hotter it gets. So um, uh, quite uh, th there's a company called Irasaris, uh, who is probably the best known name there. A lot of where their, their big reds come from, it's quite a way inland and uh, where it's quite warm. But the, in recent years, they've started developing what they call Aconcagua Costa, so closer to the coast. And that's proving a really good region for Sauvignon Blanc and hopefully for Pinot Noir. So this is a Pinot Noir Reserva. Uh, the National Gallery bottle, Bottling, I don't know, um, by purchasing this wine, your contribution ensures future generations enjoy the paintings as we do today. So, if it's good, better test it's good first, uh, then go out and buy it. 850 from Sainsbury, so it's not going to break the bank. Let's give it a whirl. Interesting thing about it is, um, first one 12.5%, this one 13.5%. And it's a deeper colour, and it's still not, well, I don't know if you can tell against that colour, uh, deeper in colour, but still not, it, it's a red wine, very much a red wine rather than someone trying to make a black wine. Uh, if I hadn't had the first one, I'd have said it was still on the pale side. But there's more, uh, it's more on that slightly uh, cherry edge rather than the berry character uh, in, the, in the blind spot. And ever so slightly medicinal, 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 can't speak, with... I'd say more of an oak imprint, a slightly toasty, slightly raw oak character uh, at the moment. I'll keep swirling and see whether that uh, melds in with time. It's a fuller bodied wine um, and it's certainly full of flavour, richer, juicier, darker fruit, but it's not as good. Um, the blind spot is uh, effortlessly elegant. Here it almost feels like someone's uh, trying to get, um, think, well, we need to make a wine with flavour. £8.50 is never going to be um, uh, the greatest Pinot Noir in the world. But I almost wish that they'd done this slightly gentler approach um, to this fruit that, uh, that they, 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 they took with the blind spot. Here, it doesn't feel like anything's overripe. It doesn't feel like they've gone for major over-extraction. But I would almost, I almost think, like, why do they, why do they need that little touch of oak in there? Why do they need to press that little bit harder? What it doesn't have, uh, and a problem I have with quite a lot of chili and pinot noir, it doesn't have that slightly metallic, rubbery, reductive feel. And it may be that um, I've just opened it and it's got a screw cap. Uh, it may be that in uh, a couple of hours' time, it's going to blossom. As it is at the moment, it's a bit um, angular, whereas the blind spot is just sort of like a. Well, here I am. I'm quite attractive, aren't I? A bit like me. <clears throat> um, and um, so I would be, I'll be 
not quite hoovering up the blind spot tonight, but um, actually I won't be hoovering it up because I, I said I'd take these bottles to show to some friends and see how they get on with them. And it'll be interesting to see how much they are influenced by the colour of the two wines. Uh, colour can make a big difference to, uh, uh, to people's perception and uh, the people I'm showing it to probably like their wines on the dark and hearty side. So uh, maybe I'll get them to do it blind so they'll, they, they won't know which way is which and uh, see if they can guess which is the Aussie, which is the Chilean. For me today, the Aussie scores, but um, it may be later on. Hey, a few hours to blossom. Who can who can tell? Anyway, see you soon.